Está bien, no estábamos preparadas. Lamento tener que tomar estas drásticas medidas para que comprendieran, pero yo solo quiero que estén a salvo. Hola. Today, we will be breaking down this scene from Friends where Ross gives Phoebe and Rachel a really nasty lesson. By the end of this video, you will have learned some useful Spanish verb conjugations and uh, find out what Monica feels about Ross's teaching method. ¡Comencemos! ¿Qué rayos fue eso? Una lección de la importancia del unagi. ¡Eres un bruto! Pues tal vez. Tengo curiosidad en qué punto durante sus tontos alaridos me comenzaron a avasallar. Let's now dive in and break down the main vocabulary words. Stay tuned to watch the rest of the clip during the breakdown. Claro. ¿En serio? Yo... ¡Corre, corre, corre, corre! Corran is the imperative form of the verb correr, meaning to run. In this case, as Ross is giving this order to Phoebe and Rachel, he conjugates it in the plural tense you, ustedes. Cuidado has different meanings such as caution or care, but in this context, it's used as an interjection. Another example is ten cuidado con el fuego. Be careful with the fire. En el hospital le dieron el mejor cuidado. They gave him the best care at the hospital. ¿Qué rayos fue eso? Rayos is usually used as a noun, meaning race, but colloquially, ¿qué rayos can also be used like how what the heck is used in English. For example, vi muchos rayos en la tormenta de ayer. I saw a lot of lightning rays in yesterday's storm. Or, ¿qué rayos está pasando? What the heck is going on? ¿Qué rayos fue eso? Una lección de la importancia del unagi. The word unagi is in Spanish, but in this case, for Ross, it is a Japanese term that describes a state of constant alert. Alerta constante. Another example could be, Los militares deben estar en alerta constante. The military need to be in constant alert. Una lección de la importancia del unagi. <laughs> Eres un bruto. Bruto is a harsh word that you use to refer to someone dumb or forceful, someone who behaves without care or consideration. Be mindful when you use this word, as it can be quite offensive. Another example could be, golpeaste la pared. Eres un bruto. You hit the wall. You are a brute. Eres un bruto. Pues tal vez. Pues tal vez means, well, maybe. Pues is a word with many meanings, like then and well. When watching a video, it can be a problem to have to guess the meaning with words like pues. You might have to switch tabs, pause, and maybe even lose all your progress. Annoying. But with Fluent You, it's a piece of cake. You may be watching a video just like this one, and when you see a word you don't understand or aren't sure of its meaning in that context, you just click on the word in the interactive subtitles to get the meaning in that sentence and real-world video examples. There are thousands of videos such as movie scenes, music videos, clips of series, all of them with interactive subtitles. Fluent U also offers you personalized quizzes and flashcards so you won't forget anything you learn. Fluent U is actually on sale, so you don't want to miss this chance to improve your Spanish. Click on the link in the description and get a free trial for two weeks. Pues tal vez. <laughs> Tengo curiosidad. Curiosidad is one of the many words in Spanish that are similar in English. Curiosity. In Spanish, you will often hear someone say, Sentí curiosidad. I felt curiosity, or me dio curiosidad. I got curiosity. Tengo curiosidad en qué punto durante sus tontos alaridos me comenzaron a avasallar. Alarido is another way to say grito in Spanish, which means scream. Alarido implies that it is a very loud scream, nothing subtle. Now, avasallar is a formal way to say atacar, and it means to attack. It can also be translated as swarm. So, 
Me comenzaron a avasallar means you begin to attack me. Another example could be Los periodistas te van a avasallar con preguntas. The journalists are going to swarm you with questions. ¿En qué punto durante sus tontos alaridos me comenzaron a avasallar? Está bien, no estábamos preparadas. Está bien literally translates to is good. However, it means all right or okay. You will often hear it as an agreement. ¿Quieres salir conmigo? Está bien. Está bien changes the meaning according to the mood and context. Mm, let me show you some examples. Perdón, llegaré más tarde. Está bien, no hay problema. Perdón, llegaré más tarde. Ya está bien con tu impuntualidad. Está bien, no estábamos preparadas. Lamento tener que tomar estas drásticas medidas para que comprendieran. Lamento tener que tomar estas drásticas medidas para que comprendieran means I'm sorry I had to take such drastic measures for you to understand. This expression comes from the noun lamento, which is lament or regret. So when I say yo lamento something, it means that I am sorry for. Comprender means understand. And we start with the imperfect subjunctive. For example, me gustaría que fueras más paciente. No creí que hubiera alguien aquí. If you want to review these phrases and vocabulary later, we've prepared a free PDF for you. Just click on the link in the description below to get it. Lamento tener que tomar estas drásticas medidas para que comprendieran, pero yo solo quiero que estén a salvo. A salvo can mean safe and safely, like in the following examples. El avión pudo aterrizar a salvo. The plane was able to land safely. Aquí ya estamos juntas y a salvo. Here we are together and safe. Pero yo solo quiero que estén a salvo. Uh -huh. ¡Corre! Here we have the imperative form of correr again. Ross is trying to give Monica a sudden order to startle her, but apparently she has plenty of unagi. <laughs> ¡Corre! <laughs> ah, ah, unagi. <laughs> As a last pun curious fact, unagi is a Japanese word they use to refer to freshwater eels. It is one of Phoebe's and Rachel's favorite sushi ingredients. <laughs> Let's now watch the full clip, now without subtitles. Test yourself and see just how much you can understand. Una lección de la importancia del unagi. Eres un bruto. Pues tal vez. Tengo curiosidad en qué punto durante sus tontos alaridos me comenzaron a avasallar. Está bien, no estábamos preparadas. Lamento tener que tomar estas drásticas medidas para que comprendieran, pero yo solo quiero que estén a salvo. Uh -huh. ¡Corre! Ah, ah, unagi. Great job! Now, let's keep watching and dive into this video where Ross gets a nasty surprise of his own and where you can keep learning even more new Spanish vocab with friends. 